<laughs> it's bleach fail day. Welcome back. How you doing? Thanks for coming. You look gorgeous, fabulous, beautiful, and I'm excited to be here. You know, it's, it's early in the morning. That's why I look a little tired over here. I am struggling to, to, to put words together right now because I'm exhausted, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Really, there's only like one little part of the day where I'm not exhausted and that's like the most inconvenient part of the day. Maybe like 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. I'm like wide awake, ready to go, ready to dance, ready to party, ready to function like the rest of society does. But naturally, the rest of the day, I just want to take a nap. But no, I have to force myself to be a functioning part of this society, a highly functional part of this society. I, for some reason, just want to do everything and be everywhere, but my body doesn't. And that's okay, because I make it do it anyway. I, I, I force it anyways. Today, we got bleach fails. Our favorites, the classic, the bleach fail. You know what this is. It's Hairdresser Reacts. Let's watch some videos, shall we? Let's do it. First video is by Life of Pat. It's I completely screwed up my hair. My girlfriend's hair. Hair dye fail. Oh, I love when boyfriends get involved and screw their girlfriend's hair up. The only thing better than somebody screwing up their own hair is their significant other screwing it up for them. So watch it. What are we doing? Oh, what are we doing, girl? Yeah, when you what are you doing? There, I need you to show me where to go. Where do we go? Uh, Sally Hansen. <laughs> yeah. Wait, she said Sally Hansen? Sally Hansen is not Sally's beauty supply. <laughs> What is Sally Hansen? It's like a nail polish. Is the airbrush leg stuff? Sally's Beauty is a beauty supply store. I just wanted to call you out for that. I just thought that was really funny. I've never dyed my hair. CJ, what's Alejandra trying to do? Do it. So she's got some virgin hair, and she wants to go purple. Oh, I'm so excited for Alejandra. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> she's trying to back out. She's literally just chilling on the couch and not doing the thing. After I double dog dare her and got a pinky swear. I mean, who breaks the? <laughs> Who breaks a pinky swear? And if you said me, if you said that you do, like, get off my channel. Wow, I'm going to look beautiful. I might be bald, I might not be bald. Not I'm thinking maybe okay. bald. Pray for me. All right, Jenny, if anything, we will make you come all the way over here okay. and fix my hair. I think she just consulted with her hairdresser friend. <laughs> maybe the hairdresser friend should have been like, don't do it. TJ being the master mixer right now. Why is it so blue? <laughs> No. Ah! She started at the root. <laughs> no, not at the root. Still, so many of you get confused with the root thing. I see comments all over the place like Brad says, never start with the roots. Listen, you can start with the roots if you're doing a retouch on your blonde hair. Otherwise, if you're coloring virgin hair, the roots process the fastest. So you don't start with the roots. You start with the ends and you work your damn way up. And then you do the roots last because those process the fastest with all the heat from your scalp. That's that. I hope that makes sense now. So she's gonna get really bright roots and probably really dark ends. Just leave it like that. No, I'm sorry. I don't want any beauty guru coming at my No, booty gurus, come after me. <laughs> Am I a beauty guru? No, I'm gonna say no. I personally think it's gonna look good. What do you think? I personally think the opposite. If it turns out, so. It will turn out okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love, love when people try to mush through bleach like it's shampoo. That is a classic thing I see in these videos. People going like, like, that's okay. It looks It's not gonna work that way. So, oh no. It's a good old Sally's. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> this is really bad. Oh man, look! At least she's going purple because purple cancels out yellow. It'll help her situation a bit with that purple, you know. Um. <laughs> Frosted tips. Girl, like you didn't even cover all your hair with bleach. It. It's gonna be bad. So, CJ, how do you think all hundred feels right now? Bad. <laughs> uh oh. Hello? Where is she? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Yo! The top is actually pretty cool. No, it's not! <laughs> oh. The worst part about this is that even if she went to 
a really talented professional at this point. She would be there for the entire rest of the day and maybe even then we wouldn't be able to fix it <laughs> because there's all spots of darkness going through her hair. That means the hairstylist has to pick out every individual piece, paint only the dark spots with a higher developer mixed with bleach and then, the, <laughs> then go on the lighter spots and do a different developer. It's just a complete mess. If she came to a salon with virgin hair, it would honestly be much easier, much, much easier than doing a humongous corrective job. I've had a girl come into the salon with this exact hair situation. It took me three days and a lot, a lot of money she paid. A lot. I'm legitimately just trying to be a supportive voice right here. Yeah. Uh, like four years of not dyeing your hair. Right. How is she gonna get herself out of this? Her hairstyle right now looks like if we were it was like a fourth Back to the Future movie and we went to the future and it was like that's the hairstyle that's like the new thing. Yeah. No. Wow. It just sounded like a tea kettle. They're being so mean. Lights going. What salons do when they're like, so how's your man's? Girl, how's your man is? That's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah, it is what we do. <laughs> Just one long streak of black. Oh, no. Victoria saving the day right now. I am trying. Victoria's like, what happened here? And when and how and where and what did you do? And oof. I don't know if there's any saving that, girl. Oh my God, let me see. Yes, foils. <laughs> so With the Starbucks. <laughs> Uniform on, I love that. The magical thing actually happened. Hello, Lana. How do I look? Blonde. Yes. Okay. It looks a whole lot better, but still. Oof. Ooh, girl. I it. Mean, that spotting. Even if she puts purple over there, it's gonna still be very spotty and very not the best. You know. Go for it. That's all you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you are messing around, babe. She just hopped out of the shower. I did. So we're gonna blow dry. Go. I think it's cool that it transitions. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. It'll look really pretty, like braided or curled. It'll look really good. Alejandro's we'll go with that. There. Go. Ooh. I mean it's purple. <laughs> Is it a good purple? Oh, is it purple? It's purple. Oh, oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh. Ah, she oh loves God. it. <laughs> okay, so listen, definitely didn't look very good. <laughs> I'd recommend next time, even if it is that screwed up <laughs> underneath, do a darker purple on the root and a lighter purple on the ends. It'll confuse the eye to make it look more even and natural, like a natural purple. You know what I mean? Like just, it'll it'll make it look nicer. But she was happy. And I'm very ha happy that she changed her hair. I think the purple suits her a lot better and makes her look more fun and vibrant and ready to go and like young and cool and fresh. It's fun. So I appreciate that. But next time, don't screw it up that bad, okay? All right, let's move on. <laughs> this video is by Past World. It's called Bleach Fail. Destroy my hair for 14 minutes straight, trying to go blonde at home. Yes! <laughs> Why are we changing her hair? It looks so cute. If she redid the purple and the pink, I'm really into the split color moment. It looks really good. I probably should have watched a tutorial or something. Yeah, maybe. Wait, my ends actually aren't that terrible. That's crunchy. Um, yeah, no, we're definitely Okay. So, this is the Swan Daily Clarifying Shampoo. I'm not really sure what she's doing or what the goal is, but I think it's to make it blonde. And then... A bleach wash are we doing? Vitamin C to mix in a uh, packet of this. Oh. Uh, 
Okay, so she's using vitamin C and clarifying shampoo to get this pink and purple out of her hair. I am intrigued. I want to see if this works. I wonder what that pink and purple color is, what kind of hair color it is, but I will be very impressed if something good happens here. Okay, so I'm back. I think I see an extremely slight difference. I don't see anything different. Why do I feel like I'm about to give a prostate exam? Bleach time. So your bleach should be a relatively smooth paste-like consistency. Correct. She if got that. A plus on that. All right, and perfect. We're working on the ends first. In this case, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> People are always doing the reverse of what they're supposed to do here. So because her, she's just trying to lighten that extra layer of that demi-permanent color off the top of her hair cuticle, I wouldn't have started applying the bleach on that part first because it's already lightened and you're just trying to do a little bit of lightening just to push that color off the top of the hair cuticle. But in this case, she should have started on the roots. <laughs> She's doing a retouch, you should start on the roots, and then after that root is processed, then go on the ends and put the rest of the lightener all over that pink and purple. That way it just lifts it up. You shouldn't have to leave that on for more than like 10, 15 minutes. And if it doesn't come out after 10, 15 minutes, it's probably just not going to come out because it's so deep in that hair cuticle. You're just not gonna be able to get it out. All you're gonna do is fry your hair off. Fry it off. You can only lift your hair so much. And so if under that pink, it's already blonde, you can't keep lifting your hair. It's just gonna melt off. So I hope her hair doesn't melt off. And I don't know what she's using. Oh, okay. She used 40 volume. In this case, you guys, I would never use 40 volume. <sighs> oh! One side got blonde. Do you all see that? Don't even get me started. So this just get started. just does not want to go in. Um, Correct. Every stylist who is watching this is actually about to keel over and die. Why, girl? I'm going to bleach it again. No! Um, but tonight, <laughs> just make myself feel better. Probably won't help that much. No. So, this stylist once told me that I have strong hair, and maybe I'm pushing it, but like, sir. That's because she has fine medium thickness hair. Fine hair, for some reason, it likes the bleach. It thrives with bleach. I have fine hair. It's very difficult to break my hair off. Like I could go over it and over it and over it with 40 volume and bleach and it would be like, mm, I don't want to break off yet. Like, believe me, I've been there before I was a hairstylist and it never broke off. I'm back. This side is still very pink. I expected most of it to come out with the first bleach. It's actually very interesting to me why why the purple come out and not the pink. I don't know. Maybe the molecules of pink are bigger than purple. Girl, I don't know. What do I look like to a hairstylist? I am. Okay. But it did not, which is weird because I used the same brand on both sides. Oh, weird. So that is actually very weird because that's hot pink. In a couple hours. Hot pink I'm still. Going to just this side, as well as like a couple of spots that I missed. <sighs> so over she's gonna there. be half bald. Hopefully, I'll have to bleach a third time. Uh, but we all know, like, I just might. Oh, so she is going back on those ends with more 40 volume. Oh, I will be surprised if this doesn't melt off. I got back after bleaching just this side. It's still there! It looks better! And her hair is not breaking off, so. so uh, hair gods. Thank you. Then we're gonna have to go pink. Yes! <laughs> I love pink. It's gonna look so good all pink. It's not the worst palette to work with right now. It's not the worst. Look at that beautiful white blonde right there. And down here. Looks almost like my entire head is Welcome back to my crackhead evolution. It's the next day. It actually doesn't look bad. What? It like it still has shine. It's still full of life. It's still wavy. Okay, hair. Okay. Now she's just trying to get her side pink, which is kind of sad because she got it all blonde and now she's gonna make it pink and the pink's just gonna stay there and she's not gonna ever get her hair to blonde because the, both the sides are gonna be pink now and it's gonna be really upsetting and I mean, I love pink hair though, so I don't really care that much, but. And she has the skin tone for pink hair. She's gonna look dope. Where is your mom? Where's your hairstylist mother for this? Oh, I'm excited for her to have pink hair. It's gonna look so good. Oh, mom! 
Oh, I love mom. Is that her mom? Alright, I'm back for a quick follow-up. Ah! With this peachy pink color. She looks like a Bratz doll, and I love it. You guys, have you seen Bratz dolls? Speaking of Bratz dolls, hold on. If this ain't me, I don't know what is. How creepy is that? This was not, apparently not drawn after me because I, the artist contacted me. Hayden Williams was like, Everybody says this looks like you, but I didn't even know who you were. If this ain't me, I don't know what is. This is like actually my winter outfits. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Still pretty flattered by this because I am a Bratz doll and I didn't even know I was. Back to this Bratz doll. I think I like it. Same? It's just not bad. <laughs> my hair is extremely damaged, so I will be doing as much as I can to keep it attached to my head. Woo! That's the whole video of me destroying my hair. Girl, the pink looks so good. That's a very interesting pink. It's kind of like a highlighter pink, but also like not, like kind of muted. Very pretty. The only thing is I would have made it a little darker pink up at the root and lighter pink at the bottom. It just gives you that extra polish. Looks like a professional did it kind of moment. At the salon, we usually don't just use one color roots to ends. And that's the extra edge you get when you get your hair done professionally. That is that, but she looks great. Really Woo! Boy! So, that is all I have for you guys today. <laughs> Stay away from the bleach. If you have to do it at home, you really want to do it at home, just do your research. Or don't. Or make a video about it so I can react to it. That'd be great. <laughs> don't forget to follow me on my social medias, Twitter and Instagram, at BrownMondoNYC. Follow my hair care brand, Xmondo Hair, for updates and product launches coming soon. I also have new merch coming in the next couple of weeks. I almost don't want to say that because I don't want to screw myself over because I've been going back and forth about this design for a while. But I promise it's coming. New merch. I'm so excited about it. It's honestly, it's it's awesome and I'm excited. But yeah, watch out for that. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace!